I'd like to introduce to Chaos. This is Chaos, our neighbour's cat. Now, he can be a little mischievous. And I'd like to tell you a story today about another mischievous cat and his adventures with his owner. It's called Winnie the Witch by Valerie Thomas and Corky Paul. Winnie the witch lived in a black house in the forest. The house was black on the outside and it was black on the inside. The carpets were black, the chairs were black and the bed was black and it had black sheets and black blankets and even the bath was black. Winnie lived in the black house with their cat Lorba and he was black too and that is how the trouble began. When Wilbur sat on the chair with his eyes open, Winnie could see him. Well, she could see his eyes anyway. But when Wilbur closed his eyes and went to sleep, Winnie couldn't see him at all. So she sat on him. When Wilbur sat on the carpet with his eyes open, Winnie could see him. Well, she could see her eyes anyway. But when Wilbur closed his eyes and went to sleep, Winnie couldn't see him at all. She tripped over him. One day, after a real nasty fall, Winnie decided that she had to do something. She picked up her magic wand, she waved it once, and abracadabra, Wilbur was a black cat no more. He was bright green. Now, when Wilbur slept on the chair, Winnie could see him. When Wilbur slept on the floor, Winnie could see him. And she could see him when he slept on the bed. But Wilbur was not allowed to sleep on the bed. So Winnie put him outside on the grass. And when Wilbur sat on the grass, Winnie couldn't see him, even when he had his eyes wide open. When Winnie came hurrying outside, she tripped over Wilbur, turned three somersaults, and fell into a rose bush with an enormous crash. This time Winnie was furious. She picked up her magic wand and she waved it five times. Abracadabra! Wilbur had a red head, a yellow body, a pig tail, blue whiskers, four purple legs, but his eyes were still green. Now when he could see Wilbur when he sat on the chair, he lay on the carpet, when he crawled in the grass, and even when he climbed to the top of the tallest tree. Wilbur climbed to the top of the tallest tree to hide. He looked ridiculous and he knew it. Even the birds laughed at him. Wilbur was miserable. He stayed at the top of the tree all day and all night. Next morning, Wilbur was standing up on the tree and Winnie was worried. She loved Wilbur, and she hated him to be so miserable. Then Winnie had an idea. She waved her magic wand, and abracadabra, Wilbur was a black cat once more. He came down from the tree pairing, and then Winnie waved her wand again, and again, and again, abracadabra. Now, instead of a black house, she had a yellow house with a red roof and a red door. The chairs were white with red and white cushions. The carpet was green with pink roses. The bed was blue with pink and white sheets and pink blankets. And the bath was a gleaming white. And now Winnie can still go back, no matter where he sits. The end.